picture the dog in your house. Oh, good boy. Wagging its tail and licking your face and how good that makes you feel. Oh my God. It's incredible. I've set my life up to be a veterinarian that deals with terminal cases from all over the world. <laughs> We've got increased rates of cancer, diabetes, you name it. We see the worst of the worst here. Most of the animals already had third, fourth, and fifth opinions. We are their very last boat. I don't want to lose it. I was working in conventional veterinary medicine. I became a very sickly person. My doctor recommended antibiotics and long-acting steroids that got me searching for answers conventional medicine didn't offer. When I was somebody first brought up a holistic vet to me, I was like, so they can take grass and rub it all over my dog? <laughs> I've been criticized. Snake oil salesman, charlatan. The holistic or alternative say, I don't want to do anything conventional. Or the conventional vet who says, absolutely no alternatives. They're all coming in after being on drugs. They want to know how you made this dog better. Integrative medicine works. I'm here to destroy this guy. He just did the biggest miracle of my entire career. I actually fainted. Whether you're a person, an animal, it doesn't matter. Being in a hospital sucks. You're OK. They don't understand what's happening to them. They're just trusting us. <laughs> Coming from a traditional background, I can't even conceive of this kind of success. With cryosurgery, we actually freeze the tumor. Advise it's time to work on the immune system. <laughs> People say, do you think it's working? Yeah, he had five weeks to live two years ago. He is fabulous. If I gave up knowing that this can be done, <laughs> that would kill me. Good boy. It's a whole new process of thinking.